Hello, I am Wes Dawson, and welcome back to another groundbreaking episode of Gabagool in 8. Now, if this was the world of the Power Rangers, you could consider me Tommy, the green slash white ranger, and you could consider Gabagool Nate that magical flute dagger thing he used to call his Megazords in. Uh, now, if you didn't quite get those references either, you're not a giant nerd, or you're not familiar with the Power Rangers, either way, I could care less. Awesome show. Well, that's not true. It's actually pretty bad when you rewatch it today, but that's revisionist history on a show that modeled and shaped my young mind. So a few weeks ago, we had an episode titled Stupid Young West, which kind of detailed and broke down some of the instances in my younger life that didn't paint the most complimentary picture of my uh, mental faculties of the time. But now we're going to jump forward. We're going to do an episode called Bitter Old Wes. Now, despite the youthful exuberance I display like that of a 17-year-old meerkat, I am in fact an aging old man with few years left in my life. Regardless of that, we're going to go into some examples that kind of lit up that light bulb filament in my brain saying, Wes, you're getting old. Uh, one of the first things was just my my realization, I can't stand younger generations music. And the fact that a few weeks ago I referred to it as kids music i was like all right it's, it's over i'm gonna start wearing you know khaki cargo shorts above my knees with my tucked in plaid shirt yeah this whole mumble rap thing I, I had a friend explain to me how oh it's like the punk rock of the modern generation you know in terms of individuality and expression da, da, da. i was like yeah i'm sure you could paint it whatever you want but it, it's still it's just garbage i can't listen to this like droned out kind of monotone beat with this real sad sappy crap uh you know i've been kind of a condition to listen to music with like 210 beats per minute. I can't listen to this fucking sad, sappy garbage. I just can't deal with it. So I'm not really behind this kind of frumpy and sad sack reaction to everything where if an emotion can't be defined in a single syllable verb, well, then I'm depressed. I, I find it really trivializes and downplays. It's a very serious issue and a very serious mental illness that a lot of people suffer from. But this idea that, oh, your generation has it harder than the last, well, that a, that's every generation throughout history that thinks that. And also, yeah, I'm sure growing up in the early 1800s, that was just a hoot compared to today. That's, that's just, that is just a fact accepted by all academics and historians. And the, the idea that individualism is now born from either piercing your nose and dyeing your hair or wearing an Adidas tracksuit and getting a fade haircut, uh, it just boggles my mind. Another item was that I didn't immediately jump on the Greta Thornburg a bandwagon. First, I thought this was like a spin-off of the Wild Thornberries. I was gravely mistaken. Uh, she has some great ideals, but I'm like, she's also a 12-year-old kid, and there's you know other people who have been doing this for a very long time and, and saying the same things with even more merit behind what they're saying, and uh, nobody really gives a shit about them. Um, and I suppose that's the power of a corporate spokesperson, whether they want to admit it or not. Another factor would be my complete disdain and the unequivocal rejection of TikTok. I tried to get in on it. I just couldn't. And I, right there, that showed my age. Now, it is a creative space that allows for all kinds of new ideas, innovative ideas, comedy, just general entertainment, performance. Though the vast majority is used to regurgitate the same kind of crap you've seen. It's like tracing out a picture and saying, look, mommy, what I drew. Mommy will put it on the fridge, but she knows you're a fraud. So the vast majority of TikTok is, is, is either, you know, over-sexualized videos of often people sort of inappropriately aged to be doing these things, yet remember, that's not their own fault or their parents' fault. That's mainstream media, Britney Spears, patriarchy, you name it. It's everyone else's fault but your own. Mm. But also this idea of doing these kind of choreographed dance that are not really dances because like if you did this in a club you'd look like an idiot you look like you're a re recent recipient of head trauma but also this this strange dance it's like doing the macarena and it's like imagine if your father pulled out a vhs tape of him doing the macarena in the 90s and he's like hey kids how cool was i I'm like dad you're a fucking loser well, at least daddy's tape is confined to a VHS tape that only he and the people that were there present will ever get to see. Whereas these videos of people doing their little Macarena dances on TikTok are going to be there forever. I guarantee you in 10 years, you are going to regret these videos because you look damn stupid. Now, beyond social media, beyond the electronic world, one kind of universal truth that made me realize my age is body pain. You know, back, shoulder, wrist, elbow, my knee, you know, a lot of these things would hurt after I had the Night Train Express kick the living crap out of me. That was expected. 
I haven't wrestled in almost two years and I still wake up with neck pain. Another thing was, you know what? I like to party. I'm the only one who parties. I'm pretty sure I've partied before. No, Kevin, I know for a fact you don't party, okay? You do not party. You're right. Yeah, I like to party, but the problem is I can't as well right now because part of me is this drunken werewolf. This thing, as soon as that, that delicious nectar touches my tongue, I turn into a wild party man. Can't control it, don't want to control it. I just, it's just like the Incredible Hulk. I keep him, I keep him stored until I need him kind of thing. The fact that it takes me three days to recuperate from a night of partying, it kind of, you know, taking a half week to be able to party for one night, I'm kind of weighing my options if it's worth it or not. But I would at one point like to turn my exploits, my drunken adventures, into like a Logan type film. The, you know, the, the telling of Wolverine when he's old and, and beat up and, and trying to, you know, come to terms with the end of his glory days and, and his aging self. That would be me coming to terms with uh, alcohol no bueno, okay? Now, as we are running out of time, we are going to try and speed through some segments. So for the expert panel, uh, this is a friend of mine who has some very detailed thoughts on what they think of TikTok specifically. So let me just get them on the line. Oh, I couldn't agree more. I appreciate your input. So we're going to jump into shoot or pistol whip. Now, so here's the scenario. Now, if I, Wes Dawson, can perform your favorite artist song, you know, i.e. trap rap, double pistol with one for me for doing it and one for you for listening to something that is so easily replicated by someone with no actual musical talent. Well, much like my opportunity to redeem myself for past transgressions, we are out of time. So please listen, like, subscribe, share, do all that other crap you can do online. Just let people know that Gabagool and 8 has thoroughly changed your life. I am Wes Dawson. Thank you very much, and if you remember one thing, remember...